give up and they'll be like, oh my god, I can't do it to have. Oh, terrible. But I just showed you, it's not hard, right? Especially if you understand what half means. Half just means cut it in half, right? So what's half of 8? 4. 4, and then we have x. What's half of 12? 6. So now you have a normal problem. But unfortunately, some of you might think, like, oh, this is too hard, I'm going to skip it. And really, it's not terrible. All right. Minus 6, minus 6. Uh, 34. Oopsie. Nice. I love how you did the decimal. Good job. 8.5. How do they get that? Let me show my work for the video. Divide it by 4. That 0, 8 gives you 32. Remainder 2. Decimal 0. 8.5. Good job. I love how you guys went to the decimal. Perfect. All right, we're good? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. looks hard, right? One half times the quantity. Was it half or a five? No, wait. No, you don't do that. Oh. We only take half of what's inside the parentheses. Because then this is a minus five, so it's separate. It's not inside the parentheses. So what's half of 10x? I mean, yes, half of 10x. Very good, 5x. Plus what's half of 30? 15, bring down the minus 5, equal sign, and 100. Okay, so is a half super difficult? No. No, right? Or you could have taken 10 times... 0.5, because 0.5 is a half, 0, 5, move it one time. You still get the same answer, right? If you don't understand where we're getting 5 and 15 from. All right, now what? Bars. 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 Right now it's minus 5. We use the 5. Okay, you could take my plus 5, plus 5. Then minus 15, minus 15, or do that, right? Simplify. That makes sense. So it would be 5x plus 10 equals 100. Mm -hmm. Do it on your paper. So subtract 10, subtract 10. 5x equals 90. Now what? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. X equals? What's 90 divided by 5? 18. 18? Thank you. Are we okay? Let's see if you guys can handle this. I'll change that to plus ten. Uh, let's try, let's try 50. We'll see what happens with 50. Oh, no. So, you don't have one half, you have one fourth. Can you just give one point to one half, right? No. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Would be nice, but you can't. So, two options. You can change 
the this is a harder way. The harder way is to change this to point what? 0.25, and then multiply 16 times 0.25 and 20 times 0.25, right? Or you can take what's one fourth of 16. So if I were to divide 16 into four sections, how much does each four. section have? Four. Four. So again, we have 4x plus, if I take 20 and divide it into four sections, five. Five. it would each have five. Or you can take 16 and multiply it by 0.25. But you have to be pretty good at multiplying two digits by two digits, which is an elementary school standard. You get 4. 30 carry the 3, 5, 8, 0, uh, 12 carry the 1, 2, 3, 0, 10 carry the 1. Four, move your decimal two places, that's where I get the four from. It's longer, but it works if you don't understand where we're getting the fourth one. Basically, you're dividing by four. Plus 10 is equal to 50. All right, it's going to be a decimal. It's okay. What are you going to do? Add the 10 and the 5 right here. What do you get? If, if, Joe, if, Joe, if this is a 1, if this number is a 1, then yes, you're dividing by 4. But if it's not a 1, that's a whole different problem. What's 50 minus 15? 35. 35, very good. Uh-oh, we got a decimal. It's not a big deal. Remember, it's similar to the problem we already had. 8 gives you 32. Remainder 3, decimal 0. 7 gives you 28. Remainder 2, 0. Yes, very good, kiddo. X is equal to 8.75. Wow, look at all that work. You know, we started with a very simple problem, right? Minus 5, minus 5. And look at where we, at, where we are at right now. Yeah. And I have to remind you the importance of showing work. Because if you show work, and let's say you don't get the right answer, I can, and you can, go back to see, oh, that's where I made my mistake. I didn't subtract 15, I added 15, or whatever the case may be. All right, are you ready to make it easier before we make it harder? All right, let's try this one. Let's go back to something easier, but in a way it's harder. How does that work? I got rid of the fractions. I got rid of the fractions, but now what did I do? You have two X's. I have two X's. <sighs> X is on both sides. You can add the both X's together. I gotta move the X. I gotta get X to one side, either the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter, but we gotta move it as a group. So which one do we want to move, the six X or the two X? Yes, two X. Does it matter? Really doesn't. But one way you're gonna get a negative, Alana, and the other way you're gonna get a positive. So I would suggest you always move the smaller one. Notice I'm moving it with the X. I'm not just getting rid of 2. I'm moving it as a group. As a group, we're moving it to the other side. So what happens here is this gets eliminated. We're left with 16 is equal to. What's 6X minus 2X? 4X. Very good. 4X plus 4. You can take it from here. You can take it from here. Okay. What did you guys get? Three. Three? 
Good. What makes this problem harder? The two X's. The two X's, right? You got X on one side, you got X on the other side. But is it something you're unable to do? No. No. You can pretty much do it. All right. Try this one. 16X plus 4 is equal to 12X plus 24. 16X plus 4 is equal to 12X plus 24. Try it out. See how far you can get. I'll start in a minute. What did you guys move? The 16x or the 12x? So you subtracted 12x, you're moving it as a group because you want x's all on one side. What's 12x, I'm sorry, what's 16x minus 12x? 4. four. So we got 4x plus 4, which looks very similar to the problem we just did, equals 24. You subtract the 4, you get 4x is equal to 20, divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals... Five. Hey, you guys are doing some fantastic work over here. Ready for a hard one? Sure. Love it. Let's see. Um, let's give you... All right, let's see how we can do with this one. Okay. Five parentheses x plus four minus five is equal to fifteen x plus thirty five. Let's try it. Try it. What's your first step? Okay, you guys can do distributive property. Everybody in the class should be able to do distributive property before I do. So you get 5x plus 20 minus 5 is equal to 15x plus 35. Alright, what do you guys want to do next? I would do this. What's 20 minus 5? 15. So 5x plus 15 is equal to 15x plus 35. All right. Wow. Now what? Okay. So we're going to take away 5x.